Hi, Angie and James. Um, I've been trying to sort of work through the sort of the flow of the thinking, the feeling, and the acting that the students would be doing through 227 and the related guides um, that I should be offering them. I already offer them, obviously, information, but, you know, getting it all into one place so that it's very easy for them to find and they can see the logic in terms of when they need to access these particular guides. So you can sort of see up here on the, uh, on the, on the, in this video, the first thing that they do is the pretest. That's followed by workshop one, then workshop two, and finally workshop three. And so <clears throat> I figure that coming into the unit before they do anything, they should have a guide. So I, at the moment I use an introduction, but I think I can uh, greatly um, improve upon that to help them actually understand the differences between the way the unit operates and the challenges for them in terms of self-directed learning and just the general aims and processes of the unit. So that would be something that they could look at in the very first instance. They could then move on to guide number one. And guide number one is about their thinking that's re required in the first instance. So that's about understanding the environmental interaction framework and the requirements of the pretest. So that's getting them ready for workshop, for what's required before workshop one. So those couple of days before they do that. Guide number two is actually helping them to understand the nature of the personal learning statements and the process that's actually required and getting them to develop a sharper focus on the questions around their entrepreneurial self and what it actually is I'm trying to get them to achieve in terms of metacognition. So guide number one, very much about the thinking that I'm trying to encourage them to engage in. Guide number two, very much about the process of getting them to recognize and document their feelings as they're going through this process. Guide number three would be also available to them at the end of workshop one, and that's really about the action that's required of them. And you can sort of see on the diagram what I've done is anything that's to do with thinking as it moves forward is in blue, the, the red is the feelings and the green is the acting. So leaving workshop one, they've got to do the Valley Creation Project and they've got the part A to do of that. So it's very much about getting them to go off and understand what it actually is their group is tasked to do, the processes that they're expected, the nature of the rubric that's associated with that process. And <clears throat> along the way, they're also going to have an opportunity to bring that thinking and their thinking on their feelings back into personal learning statement as one as well. Um, guide number four is very much about helping them to understand how to move from workshop one to workshop two. So it's very much about getting them to understand the nature of the group work uh, and the process of being curious about their own personal aspirations and getting them to start thinking and challenging themselves and asking questions that are from an entrepreneurial perspective rather than say a managerial perspective. And guide number five is really about helping them to finish the unit. So it's really about getting them to think about the revising that's required to get them from part A to part B. Um, I notice on this thing here that I've actually got two part A's, so the second one is part B, so maybe just excuse me for leaving that one there as a part B. And getting them to step back fully to actually really draw that metacognition forward. And getting them to think about the nature of how the environmental interaction framework has helped them to engage in this entrepreneurial thinking. And then obviously that leads them through to personal learning statement three. And you can see that the focus on the personal learning statements is in the first instance about them recognizing their entrepreneurial self, them recognizing their entrepreneurial aspirations, and then them finally recognizing their entrepreneurial learning. So I've you know, I'm open to suggestions, but I think um, there's five 
guides plus the original, let's call it guide zero, something that predates all of those. So the six guides in total that I think I can put together, and you can sort of see the focus on those guides. It's either more thinking or action or feeling or combination of all those three things as they get further into the unit. So let me leave that with you. Hopefully that's not too complicated. Um, and I'm interested to get your thoughts coming back on it. Um, sorry that I've put two part A in there twice. The one to the right of the screen is, is actually a part B. Cheers.